Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. We're going to learn how to do multiplication of decimals. So what you do is you just write the numbers as a multiplication sum, like this. Kevin, the decimals aren't on top of each other. It doesn't matter when you are multiplying. In fact, we're going to ignore those decimals completely. You can think of it as 343 times 24. We will then add the decimals back at the end. So 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16, plus the 1 is 17. 3 times 4 again is 12, plus 1 is 13. When you go to the next line, remember to put the 0. We then say 3 times 2, which is 6. Then 4 times 2, which is 8. And then 3 times 2 is 6. We then add these together, so that's 2. 7 plus 6 is 13. 4 plus 8 is 12. And then 8. Now we go back to the original sum and we see that there are two decimals there and one decimal there. So that is a total of three decimal places. So we now take, we start over here and we go three places back. And so the answer is actually 8,232. Why not pause the video and give this one a try yourself? So you can write it as 242 times by 36. Notice there's no decimals. You can write the decimals there, no problem. You can just add them in, but just ignore them. So for example, when you see that there's a decimal there, don't go put a decimal. And if you see there's a decimal there, don't put another one over there. Just ignore the decimals, okay? But you can still write them in. That's actually a good idea. There we go. So two times six is 12. Four times six is 24 plus one is 25. 2 times 6 is 12, plus the 2 is 14. Remember when you go to the next line, you always add a 0. So now it's 2 times 3, which is 6. 4 times 3, which is 12. 2 times 3 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. You then add these together, so that's 2. 5 plus 6 is 11, so we put the 1 there and the 1 over here. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 is 7, and then 1 plus 7 is 8. So you get 8, 7, 1, 2. Now you look at two decimal places there and one decimal place there. So that's a total of three decimal places. So you start here and you go back three places. And so your answer is actually 8, 7, 1, 2. I love asking this people, um, not, not, I love asking students this kind of question because I know you sitting at home, you're probably saying, oh, Kevin, that's 0, 4. In fact, you are wrong. It's not. Have a look here. 0, 2 times 0, 2. If you multiply them, remember you must ignore the decimals. So that's just going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. 0 times 2, which is just 0. Then you put down the zero over there. Then you say two times zero, which is zero. Zero times zero is zero. Okay, so if you had to go add this all together, you get four. Now we look at the number of decimal places. There's one, two. So we have to go two decimal places. So if we started over here, you'd go one, two. And then you'd put your comma. And so your answer is comma. Then there's an empty space. And then there's a four. So we fill up the empty space with a zero and then we add a zero in the front just to complete it. And so in fact, the answer is zero comma zero four. So that's quite weird, right? So if we say like zero comma zero four times by zero comma zero three, so a quick way to do this is to say, well, four times three is 12, and then you've got two decimals here and two decimals here, so that's a total of four decimals. And so you would move your answer four places back. So one, two, three, four and then you put your comma over there. So your answer is comma, then there's an empty space, another empty space, one, two. And in the empty spaces, you put a zero and a zero, and then in the front, you just add a zero. So the answer is zero comma zero zero one two. But let's say you prefer to do it using the column method. That's absolutely fine. Just remember to ignore all the commas. And so four times three is 12, zero times three, which is those ones, is zero plus one is one. Then zero times three is zero. You then go to the next line, so you add a zero. Then it's gonna be four times zero is zero. Zero times zero is zero. And zero times zero is zero. If you then add this all together, you're gonna get 12. You then see that there is a total of four decimal places. And so you go one, two, three, four, and then you put your comma over there. And so the answer is comma, and then there's an empty spot, an empty spot, and a one and a two. In the empty spots, you put two zeros, 
and then in the front you will just add a zero. Here's another one. So this is one where you would obviously have to use the column method. Remember the decimals don't have to be on top of each other. So you're not going to put a decimal here. That's not. That's only when you're plussing and minusing. And so let's start. Two. Whoa. Wrong button. There we go. Two times two is four. Eight times two is sixteen. So you do that. Now there's a comma. Don't put the comma down. Just leave it alone. Three times two is six. Plus one is seven. And then five times two is ten. Next line, remember you need a zero. Now we're going to say 2 times 4, which is 8. 8 times 4 is 32, so you put a 2 here and a 3 over here. 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 3 is 15, and then 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 1 is 21. I'm not going to do this zero over here because anything times zero is just going to give me a whole lot of zero. So you could have if you wanted to, but the third line that you would have had over here, it would have just been a whole lot of zeros, which don't really add anything to us. Okay, so now we add, and so 4 plus 0 is 4, 6 plus 8 is 14, this is 7 plus 1, which is 8, plus 2 is 10, then that gives us 6, then these two will give us 2, and then that gives us 2. So 2, 2, 6, 0, 4, 4. But now, you need to look at the decimal places. Two there, two there, so that's a total of four places. So we go one, two, three, four. And so we end up with an answer of 22,6044. And so that's it. That's how you multiply with decimals.